Guys, we might hit the jackpot with a Zenfone 7 that's got 16 gigabytes of RAM. Basically, the gold standard right now. Wouldn't that be something? Hi guys, Alina here. Welcome back to Need to Know. It's August and I don't know about you, but I was gearing up for a pretty uneventful end of summer. But when is life predictable? Turns out we've got something to look forward to next week. Asus Zenfone 7. Yes, it's happening. Asus kept us in the dark for a month now, but they're not backing away. Zenfone 7 is launching next week. August 26 to be precise. Don't worry, if you're a fan and want to be the first in the know, you'll get the chance. Asus will livestream the whole thing. Isn't 2020 the year of live streams after all? And if you're a bit impatient, as I am, I've got your back. Here's what you should expect. First of all, a Zenfone 7 series. I don't think we're gonna go with three or four phones like Apple or Samsung, but probably a vanilla and a pro version. I mean, Zenfone 6 was such a hit, they'd be fools not to cash in on that. Since we're talking about a flagship here, just as the ROG phones are, we're sure to get a Snapdragon 865 at the helm, for the standard model at least. I'd say we'll have a plus powering the Zenfone 7 Pro. That means 5G from the get-go and with it a slightly higher price, but I'll get back to that later. One list to include us in when it comes to memory. Guys, we might hit the jackpot with a Zenfone 7 that's got 16 gigabytes of RAM, basically the gold standard right now. Wouldn't that be something? The swivel camera system should return. I don't see any reason why Asus would ditch their best feature for the series. I mean, okay, we are all a bit skeptical at first. A motorized mechanism for front and back cameras? How many camera openings would it be good for? What's the life expectancy of such a system? Turns out, pretty good. And I felt it did not affect camera quality at all, which, let's face it, was what we care about the most. Sure, it's nice to have a seamless display, no notch in sight, but if the selfie camera suffers from it, we're better without, right? Wasn't the case for Zenfone 6, guys. So, how does Asus plan to upgrade their camera this time around? By doubling it. Yep, there's a chance we might look at a quad camera on the Zenfone 7, if the thumbnail Asus used for their live stream is any indication. By the way, do you know who's about to launch the first phone with an under-display camera? At least the first that's gonna come to market. ZTE. Yes, their Xen20 5G is rumored to open the camera from the display, no notch in sight. This baby is gonna be out on September 1st, so keep an eye on it. Now, coming back to the Zenfone 7, we also know the battery is most likely gonna be a 5000mAh cell. A 6000mAh would be awesome, but since it's not a gaming phone, there's less reason for Asus to bump it up. As to charging power, I think we're finally going to get 30 watts, which is decent for a flagship in 2020. Not ideal, yeah, but we can live with that. Wireless charging is a maybe for now, as well as water resistance. And guys, I think we can all agree that wireless charging is a nice to have, but not crucial. But water resistance? I'd like to see Asus bring it to this Zenfone if they didn't with the Zenfone 6. Yes, the swivel camera is making that difficult, but a girl can hope. Display info is not really in the wild now, but honestly, I'm hoping for an OLED screen. Also, fingers crossed for an in-display fingerprint scanner. That would make the whole look of Zenfone 7 neater. Now I'm thinking, Zenfone 6 sold for like $499, right? How much more can Zenfone 7 sell for? 100, 150 bucks? Usually, companies don't bump the price more from one series to the other. So, are we looking at a $600 Zenfone 7? If that's right, then we're in for a pretty sweet deal. For that money, you're getting the latest processor, great memory, a big battery and a cool camera. What do you think? Will Asus be able to keep the price at this range? Tell us in the comments and don't forget, subscribe and hit the bell button if you want to see more videos like this. Stay safe, guys!